Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 197, Editing with VS Code for Web. In our last tip, I mentioned that it was possible to edit your custom CSS files directly in the browser using Visual Studio Code for Web. In this tip, we'll look a bit more at that feature, which also appears in other areas of the Power Pages Studio. Visual Studio Code is a free, cross-platform code editor created by Microsoft. VS Code for Web is a zero-install experience that runs completely in your browser. Recently, Power Pages Studio has been enhanced with the ability to use VS Code for Web to edit your site. This functionality appears in a few places. As mentioned, if you have custom CSS files, one of the options you get is to edit that file using VS Code for Web. After clicking the Edit Code button, click the Open Visual Studio Code button, and you'll be taken to an editor in another tab that contains your custom CSS file. Make whatever changes you want, and then save. You can then return to the original tab and click the Sync button to see your changes. The Sync button is necessary because VS Code for Web interacts directly with Dataverse. So you need to sync so that the Power Pages Studio gets any changes made in Dataverse. The Edit Code button also shows up in the Pages workspace, where you can use it to update the main page content or the header or footer web templates. The same flow discussed previously applies. You need to click the Sync button after returning to the Studio in order to see your changes. This is a great example of the power of the Microsoft ecosystem. Rather than the Power Pages team building their own editor, they can leverage the investments made into Visual Studio Code to make their own offering better. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 197 on editing with VS Code for Web useful.